Hello, my name is Russell Burke, and I'm a lecturer of biology at Christopher Newport University. I'd like to tell you today about how we are restoring eastern oysters to the Chesapeake Bay. And if it's hitting shells, it'll, it'll bob up and down a little bit. The main focus of my research at Christopher Newport University is the use of artificial reefs for native oyster restoration and shoreline protection. An artificial reef is a three-dimensional reef that is generally composed of shell or rock or some other material that can be placed in a mound or a pile and sometimes could be composed of prefabricated reefs that are made of a combination of concrete and shell. And the reason this is valuable is it provides a surface for oysters to settle upon and it also provides habitat for finfish, shellfish, and crustacean species that are very important both ecologically and commercially to the Chesapeake Bay. One of the signs of a, a healthier reef is you'll get these mussels. Once you get enough oyster density, these mussels will start showing up and, and finding homes in the reefs of the reefs. They filter feed too, so they only add to the um, water clearing benefits. Of Oyster restoration is important for a number of reasons, including the fact that oysters are a keystone species. They are critical to juvenile and adult life stages of finfish, shellfish, and crustacean species. This project could not have happened without the collaborative effort of CNU students, Ready Reef Incorporated, the Nature Conservancy, and the Virginia Living Museum. Together, we can bring back the Bay's Oyster Reef.